All right, shutting off our rain chances again today. The Saharan air, right? 89 in Miami, 98 is the way it feels. You can see all the orange on our next radar network here. That's the dust that's above us. A few little showers trying to get going, but when you have showers having trouble getting going over the waters, you know we are dry here and uh, really not much doing as we head in through the remainder of this evening. A few have survived the trip and then they just fall apart as they hit the coast. You see that there uh, from earlier this afternoon, but uh, nothing east of that. I think we're going to stay uh, pretty low as far as the rain chances going up to about 20%. I think for tomorrow we had 10 today, but that's going to change as we head into Friday and into the upcoming weekend. So here and there, well, that has to move out of the way and it will as we head into the latter part of the week will be uh, mostly dry until then. And then a nice surge of moisture comes in for Friday and into the weekend and a little bit difference. We talked about uh, yesterday, not only better moisture, that's fine, but you need the steering currents to be able to get the storms, you know, firing across either the west or the eastern part of the state. Well, this is where they've been pinned across the Gulf Coast. Now we're going to get this movement towards the east. And so all of us here, I think, will be involved in showers and storms. The coverage is still going to be 40 to 50, and I want you to think it's going to rain out all weekend. But it's just a lot of the storms, even when conditions have been, you know, juicy and favorable, they've ended up across Naples and Fort Myers. That is going to change heading into the weekend. Next 48 hours, though, speaking of that, right, the flow hasn't shifted yet. So you see, once we do get back into moisture, still five across the southwestern part of the peninsula. We'll get in a few morning showers, I think, on Friday, and then certainly better rain coverage through the afternoon with a few uh, showers and thunderstorms. But the you know higher rain chance isn't going to come in until we get in Saturday and Sunday dry. I think tomorrow, once again, some of us will be in the 100s as far as the feels like temperatures, but it is going to be a mostly dry and uh, rather hazy day once again. 20% coverage will double that on Friday, bump it up even more so on Saturday, and that's the difference, right? That 40 to 50, not just higher rain chances, but the steering currents taking the storms uh, across the metro here, uh, heading into uh, the weekend or both Saturday and Sunday, and that continues into the early part of next week. Rain coverage basically back to normal, right, where we should be 40 to 50 percent. We should not spend a whole day dry like we have in the last uh, couple. So there you see a more typical summer August pattern for South Florida into next week.